Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to create sticky columns like this for free. As I scroll down, you'll notice the left column stays sticky while the right column scrolls. But wait, if I scroll down further, now the right column stays sticky and the left one scrolls down. That's not all. I can add any element to these columns. For example, I've embedded videos on the right in this section. How cool is that? You can use this feature on your site to tell your brand story or showcase product descriptions creatively. It's super simple to create and I didn't even have to leave the element or dashboard. No code, no plugin, no BS. If you want the exact template, then check the pinned comment to get it for free. Also, drop a comment if you like a video. It will motivate us to create more element or content. All right, let's get started. To create the first sticky column, add a container from here and select two column section. Then make sure it's full width and height and width are set to 100 VH and 100% respectively. Now go to advanced, then remove padding and margins to remove unwanted spaces. Let's do the same for the left column now. Done. Now we will start adding elements to these columns. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, first add an image widget, then go to advanced and again, remove the padding and margin. Let's go back to this and select our image from here. To make sure this image takes up the entire canvas's height, we'll go to style and change the width and height to this. Ugh, this looks weird. All right, to make it normal, from this drop down, choose cover. Awesome. Moving on to the right container. Let's first change the background color to something that matches with the image we just added. So go to style and change the background color from here. I'll choose this for now. All right, I want a series of text here. So let's add another container into the right column, then change the direction to this. Then add a heading widget, duplicate it, then change the text from here. I'll change the typography, font and color of this text so it's clearly visible. Okay, to create multiple rows of text, I'll just duplicate this container as many times as I want, like this. And before I make changes to my text, let's apply the sticky effect. I want the left column to be static and the right one to scroll. So select the left container or column and then go to advanced settings. Scroll till you find motion effects and change sticky to top. All right, as we are creating multiple sections like this, and if you want overlapping effect like this, then we need to change the Z index of each section. So if there are three layers, the bottom layer will have a Z index of one, middle layer will have a Z index of two, and the third one will have a Z index of three, and so on. I think you get the point. So let's add one here, done. Now I'll quickly change the text in each row once done, it should look like this. All right, one tip. We should also consider renaming containers when creating multiple layers in our design. So I'll change the main container name to section one from Navigator. Now, if you want a second section, then simply go here and duplicate it. Make sure to rename it to second section and done. Okay, for a change, I want the image on the right side and the content on the left side. So in the navigator itself, move the container like this. It's that simple. Okay, I'll change the content and image in these columns and this is how it will look. All right, as the position has changed, just make sure your image on the right is set to sticky top and the main container has Z index of two. So when someone scrolls, it will overlap our first section. Okay. Let's see how we can embed video in this. So I'll go to navigator, duplicate the first section, move it down and rename it. Then I'll change content quickly. And then on the right, 
I'll drag a video widget here. Then go to the left sidebar and make sure toggles are set to these. And on the top here, we will put the video URL. This can be from your media library or a YouTube video. And that's it. If you want to add multiple videos here, you can simply duplicate it and change video URLs of each. Cool. Let's save the design and see how it looks. I'll scroll down. The sticky effect works smoothly and the overlap effect works fine too. Let's see if our video playback is fine. And yes, looks good to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.